eight. I just I was just con I was just letting you know that ilisema kwa tuko watatu. Mimi si kwa naijua. Alisema Yes. Kidogo tu when when saying something stop referring at Mwaki because that's how the audience will take like Mwaki is involved in all this. Sp yeah, wewe unamweka ndani ukisema yuko involved lakini ndio unasikia anakwambia can you give us your side of story? Yes, okay, number give us your side of you, thank story. You, thank you positive vibes. Number one, Kiki is the one who asked me who is the other big TikToker and I had to mention it Mwaki. Thank yeah. you. No, That's why Makio's name came. Saying, you are like Makio. Is it okay, Makio? Is it like that? Stop saying the that. Part, the part. The part. I'm her. very particular. If you are keen positive vibes, I'm very particular with where I'm asking Makio if it's very okay. And no, you the say majority it. of it, I'm asking her because maybe there's something she doesn't want me to say because she was there. No, I'm going to Kutoka saa zile kutoka 5 ni amke ameshina kikwambia ongea ukweli wako na na si nimeshasema tifi si tumeongea mambo ya yofri tumeongea mambo ya tifi tumeongea mambo ya sijui amesema ilikuwa kuna wenye wamefika ndio wangetaka big oil like hiyo side ya chofri sasa huh there are people who just came in and they would love to know aya wacha sasa niseme kwa wenye wako hapa side ya jofri Said ya Jofri yeah. tuliambiwa kwa group call. Na tukiambiwa ilikuwa ni koko ni kama ana ana ndio makia mjue ni nani. Unaona? Ndiye akasema ati mnakumbuka siku yenye akamwambia do you remember the, the day there was a function in I think it was Frankfurt or wherever. Can't remember the name. Mwakia kamwambia yes I remember. Do you remember the lady who gave Nyaruks nya the t-shirt for accountability? Mwakia kamwambia yes. Mimi niko kimya akamwambia that was me. Unaona? Mimi ndio nilimpea hiyo t-shirt. Na that night we were even with Geoffrey. Na akasema hata Geoffrey anatoka kwa nyako. She had a chat with Geoffrey. That is all she said about Geoffrey. Ali identify at the end ali pay nyako t-shirt the accountability she was the lady in the video and she talked to Geoffrey. Now Geoffrey is getting out of nyako's line. Yeah, yeah, I realized there was a time yeah. nani ni kama wanajana na Geoffrey because I remember there was a time Geoffrey was live and uh, um, he talked about her kwa live. Yes, akapanda na Geoffrey akamwambia like oh dem akakuja ka threaten nyako kwa platform ya Geoffrey. So nika ndio hapo oh. tukashikanisha kwamba Geoffrey wanajuana na yeye. Oh. Wanajuana. Oh. Maybe I yeah. missed so, that. Yo, yo, yeah, you, I think you missed the uh, yo, yo live au kuiona. So oh. that was the only part ya Geoffrey kwamba um jo ali identify nani huyo ali identify kama mwenye kuleta t-shirt na wanajona na Geoffrey yes hata by the way nilikuwa na sau akasema the reason why if you watch that video the bouncers were not chasing her way if you noticed eh? after nyako no, they the didn't they, all of them were laughing in fact even Geoffrey was even laughing the his MC, Geoffrey was laughing the lady who was the MC on the stage with nyako was also laughing if you watched that video uyo de malikuwa a bit plump like this that one could it be She's something and ilikuwa imepangwa and that's why they had to make sure that nyako was in the scene now i now i'm confi confirming that for you tiffy according to coco herself hapa mimi staji jb jua kuniambia staji pesh sijaiongea naye coco alituambia those people who organized that event know her why because she sponsors those events in germany those african events that's why ile siku akufukuzwa unaona and the rest so that she sponsored an, an event knowing very well that nyako was oh, yeah. going to be present ah, okay. Good morning Nina swali moja tu to daughter do you have did, did you get a court order 
you've spoken about lawyer, you've spoken about application, but did you get a court order to get the Safaricom statements? This has not been clear. I've said it all through the night, Angeline. Sorry you are not here. Yes, it was got through the right process. A court okay. order was issued to Safaricom Anti-Fraud Department. And in fact, the first time, the court order was not uh, implemented because we had not issued specific dates that were needed. And I reached yes. out again to JB and uh, Coco, and they said we get from first to date. By then, it was just about Christmas time. So the statement were got from 1st of October to 25th of December. So they were legally obtained through a court yes. order? Yes. Thank you so much. Asanteni Warembo, that was and, my question. So and uh, and how there was another that. rumor going around about uh, the illegality of exposing that M-Pesa statement out there. And I had some people say that the person who leaked the Mpesa statement is the one who is going to be in problems. I want to make it clear here. If you have a lawyer representing you in court with a case, you have every right to know the details of the person you're taking to court and to get the documents. That is why those documents were in my possession. And duly because Coco JB, I will not mention Pesha again because I've never talked to her about any of these things, were equally sending money for this process. And you even had it, the audio Coco is talking, saying very well, I gave JB this thing in confidence. Na akaniambia itakuwa between yeye na Pesha. Dakika kidogo washa fungua live wanaiongelelea akarudi akasema nini hapo mbele akasema hata hawakutusaidia na pesa vile tulikuwa tunataka pesa anyway i'm done see you with filing for my i think hiyo kesi but i'll go to that si amongea kwa hiyo audio mmesikia hapa kiongea so they had a right as a representative of theirs, I had to share. And if you see the chat, Coco was constantly saying, I need the Mpesa statement. I need the Mpesa statement. I need the Mpesa statement. And I was, it was long overdue. Ilichukua almost a month kabla ni A month. Because I was following now, the due process. Now, now, Lisa, it's just a question you can answer or not. Does it mean that Coco is the biggest player above Kina JB and Pesh? Yes. When it comes to right. this case regarding Nyako. So all these yes. things that Pesh and JB come and tell us, all of it is Coco is the biggest player. Yes. That's why you hear them say on their life, Sisi hata tuja mpeleka kotini. Akijua mwenye yeah, she, she, she said it. She, I remember Julia Lisema, if you kwa platform flani, Pesh ali confirm kwamba, and Nyako, by the way, I am not the complainant. So Coco is the complainant. Me juicy, right? Thank you. Because I was asking who is the complainant. Because I was even asking that question to Nyako. Like, Nyako, can you give us the name of the complainant who is constantly taking you to court? Because clearly it's not JB and Pesh. Now I have my answer finally. So it's Coco. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate your appreciate. patience where somebody did not understand, they have asked and have clarified again. Kiki, you have another question? Okay. Mimi, my only problem is until being involved in this, I didn't see that coming. And when you want to say my opportunity, I'm forcing her to come in. And to say that auntie is not involved. Nini wenyewe mmeona she's not involved. She got involved the moment watu hapa TikTok walianza kusema ile siku the statement ilitolewa. What did you singiziwa ati ame ame ametoa yes. statement. Yes. Na hata mmeona kwa chat yangu na Koko kama Koko ndiye ananiuliza ati Mwakio ame expose statement. Nikamwambia nope, I mean Mwakio's life. She has only talked about Ankush ajaonyesha chochote. 
Simu liona hiyo message nilimwandikia? Yes. I don't even know who told them Mafio was exposing. I don't know. Mimi alikuja kuniuliza na nikamwambia no. Muliona hiyo. Kuko alipanda hapa akasema usi 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 expose vitu zake. See something in the court. What are you going to tell her? Because she I have me this, she so bitter. Now I have this to tell her and I'm very clear about it. Koko, I have exposed the chats. If you want to take any legal action against me, go ahead and do it. You will not tarnish my name. Give false information to JB and Pesh to see me as a bad person. Literally throw me under the bus by twisting what I had talked to you about. Number one, we were talking about the job that you do of au pair, and I just suggested that when I come to the Netherlands, I will not want to sit because it's holiday. You will organize me a black job for the meantime so that I don't sit idle. I wonder how what we talked casually like that ulienda ukachangia kina JB ati nilikuwa nakwambia nataka kazi. Really koko? Really? Is it fair that she twisted it like that? JB has never spoken to my husband. Koko, how is my husband involved in all this? Or how did Pesh come confidently on a life to say, my husband is involved in all this? Where? How? Because I don't talk to Pesh. I think Pesh, they knew I... maybe you were going to betray her and that's why they... That's what, that, that, this is what it happens, right? Na no, shea na wewe siri. Na shea tu sahi miti. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wanauliza so swali lingine mm. koko anaitwa nani jina zake za ukweli like what had I will what? give I will give her real name mkitaka sai her real name is K K A Y Ongalo K K Ongalo K for, yeah K for kite A Y K Ongalo okay thank you that is her real name Nataka muulize maswali zote. Sorry? Wewe wewe na koko you are done. I'm done. I'm done Kiki. These people wanted to make me their sacrificial lamb for nothing. For nothing. Hiyo story yote tangu nianze kuelezea. Can anyone of you tell me nilikosea JB na Pesh wapi wakuje waanze kusema wananianika? I've explained this almost the whole night. Tifi na Kiki na nani Wild Kenya na V8 venye nimeeleza usiku yote nataka mtu aniambie ukweli tu unaona venye mmeniekea tough love mnaniambia hapo ulikosa mnaniambia mbona unaingiza I want you to give me that same tough love don't favor me niambie ni sorry V8 ongea sasa swali wapi but now you you are, you are out now to tell us only because you suspected or uh, these guys walians uliona ni kama wanataka kukusaliti like wanataka kukuangusha mzigo but ijakosa kukua hivyo hatungejua amungejua amungejua v8 amungejua hiyo ni ukweli amungejua cuz mimi nilikuwa nanyamazia vitu zangu but simply because mm -hmm. walifa kutoa mm -hmm. 15000 v8 ya kupata statements zote tatu mbili za nyako na moja ya chinedu unaona Mm -hmm. And I was not talking to JB and JB anaweza sema nilimuomba pesa. I directed that message to Koko. Koko akanitumia 10k. Nikamwambia mm -hmm. what about the 5k? Na nikamexplain a reason why siezi lipa hiyo 5k for now. I had just renovated the roof of my cousin who is mentally ill. Unaona? Nikamwambia for now sita zati wacha basi niongee na kina JB. From the moment alienda kuongea na kina JB hapo ndio story yote ilibadilika na ilipata kama already washanika washanika Mpesa statement ya nyako So it's true ya kwamba eh, mmekuwa mkingangana you guys mnachanga pesa ndio so that mnaweza finance hizi vitu zenye mmekuwa mkifanya Like now I want to to na do anaweza ni clarify hapo pia kidogo Haikuwa story na you guys mnangangana and you people i want to refresh your memory kidogo 
How many times did you people hear JB akiongea kwa live ati watalipa kama nadanganya mseme nadanganya wanataka mtu kwa ground watalipa hata kama ni transport watalipa awasaidie kwa ground they used to say it on their life so when i was okay. coming in to get, to help them i thought they were going to fund anything needed that is necessary but on two occasions two kiliniramba mara mbili in fact sasa ni seme tatu the first one was at the police station wakitaka nyako ashikwe polisi wakawambia walete fare 15000 jb alituma 10000 akasema 5000 yake 5000 ya pesa wakajaribu kuniambia niongee na lady j nili explain hiyo nikasema hata mimi ndio niliambia lady j please keep off you have too much in your hands well, let me ask you. DJ is yes. aware that these people have been doing this. Sorry? Kwa sababu I can remember sometimes back watu walikuwa wanasema Lady Jay anajua kazi yenye Pesh na JB wanafanya. Yeah. Tuliko tu tukichambua so all this time Lady Jacqueline amekuwa kijua kuna hii mchezo yenye inachezwa. Lady Jay alijua tu nyako alifa kushikwa. That is what she knew. Cuz your time nyako alifa kushikwa kulikuwa kuna takika na 15000 and JB could only have 10000 yake 5 ya cash 5 so they were asking me to reach out to Lady J Ju Lady J pia anataka accountability na pendi nyako I'm mm-hmm. just going uh, like, like a fool pick up, na, pick up. how did nyako's passport come out I don't know I don't know I don't have her passport I will not lie I only know the passport number on the Mpesa statement. I've never seen her passport. I don't know where they got it from. Yeah, the passport number, that's what I'm asking. It's on the Mpesa oh, it's statement. The statement. Yeah, it's on, it's the, on statement. the Mpesa statement. Okay, yeah, let me ask you another question. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you had the Mpesa statement. You are the one who exposed this Mpesa statement. Is the I 16 didn't million the alleged you didn't Okay. I didn't Is I didn't expose any Mpesa statement. I shared it with the okay. client Coco. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. You had yeah. and you the had one who shared it with JB and Pesh and they exposed it. Mhm. Okay, you yeah. had the Mpesa statement. Is this mm-hmm. alleged 16M real? I will say what I what somebody asked me in the night and I answered and I will answer the same. To be mm-hmm. honest, I have not even that 51 page document and the other one I don't know 60 page. It is a document that was sent and I forwarded it that way. Okay? Sita danganya niliangalia. Sasa venye kina JB na Pesh walikuwa live was it not last night the night before wakienda transaction by transaction and Coco was the one reading the amounts. Pesh was busy with the pages alisema bwanake alimprint hizo vitu kwa karatasi. JB I think was following up on phone. That is where I came to learn about the 16 million. So I don't know whether it's true you see Jaenda through the confirm. Mimi nilimfuadia tu venye alikuwa na pressure anataka kwenda tax office. Okay, I, I heard you say that your, your your only concern was accountability, right? Yeah. Uh, how much uh, uh, so far since maybe you joined maybe you knew Nyako how much mm. have you sent Nyako uh, okay you, you are not there person. you are not there and I'll repeat again I have mm-hmm. never sent Nyako any money neither have I ever been insulted by Nyako and why, why the reason why to... the reason why I find myself in the middle of this V8 is uh-huh. because i hope i offer to help on the ground uh-huh. just because they're in europe so i was trying to make them have a ground here to make their case okay yeah, so you know kwa kwa hii live because you're asking some questions that she already answered yeah let me just repeat for her because maybe there are some people again kiki who are just coming in so they understand uh-huh. so mimi nilikuwa tu kama <sighs> what do you call it a bridge for them na pata na lawyer ananiambia if they want this case to go through tell them we need this and this and this and this and this and this the dci says 
this one we are going to proceed like this so i passed the message to them and coco used to supply me with a lot of video evidence even the what do you call this there was a time chaingine ilimwagwa ya sijui kuna document imebeba jina ana yeko meruprity big daddy uh, gigidola that document was made by coco and nilishanga sana hiyo kitu imefika kwa mtandao because the first person to give me that thing was JB in WhatsApp form then when she brought coco on board and i knew coco coco now sent me the real thing on email and the details i go through nikifika katikati nimechoka na chana na what i do i forward to the lawyer for his opinion hiyo ndio ilikuwa ni kama kazi yangu na nikishasukuma kwa nikishasukuma kwa lawyer lawyer na akaniambia this is a very very detailed information mpaka akasema counts za nyako zitakuwa ine count number one fraud count number two money laundering count number three cyber bullying count number four abuse of an electronic gadget mimi hata sikuwa najua kwa law kuna crime kama hiyo i relayed the message to kina jb and and, uh, and coco after ku relay lawyer akasema now get me physical witnesses because hata ukiangalia hiyo file kwa kwa lawyer my name is not there i'm just a bridge for them ni kama mimi ndio na represent kwa ground na wasaidia tu na logistics sasa wewe kivyako pickabu do you feel you wronged nyako in any way honestly i don't feel i've wronged nyako in any way Mm-hmm. because even how she knows wherever she is that what she she was doing was bad i wouldn't say she's doing it now i've not seen it lately even mm-hmm. how she knows she knows what she did was wrong anajua hiyo kifua ilikuwa mbaya and that is why when kina jb walianza as a good friend i told chine duka bla tukosane simpatie tu watu accountability is to reach when you are coming to history accountability i know them they are determined i know them from facebook it will not end well kabla hizo for her like if given a chance would you talk to her and do you have any message for nyako for nyako yes i would uh, i would like to tell her for number one, uh insults don't help they destroy because somebody can take legal action against you with evidence like video evidence like the one for example i have from wakio or for example the ones from coco that they used to send me about the insults it will pin you down number two, you are a good storyteller why don't you just tell those stories cuz i used to love listening to her on facebook just sitting there and listening to her so why can she be that nyako that we knew then in facebook another thing maybe maybe i would say to her everyone is human and we are not perfect and it has happened did you feel Please. jealous that she was getting that amount of money ne 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 oi kiki how i never even mentioned anything about that it was just yeah, me it Look. was all about accountability and if she don't give the accountability the accountability was supposed to come by force hata kama ni by force unaona so, so is there in any way that you felt eh huyu mtu anapata hii pesa yote wacha tumuangaishe juu hataki kutuambia accountability ama hapana hiyo tena nitakujibu it was not making sense for me you meet a woman selling porridge by the roadside you drink for 10 shillings and you give somebody 10000 reward it's not making sense and i was saying this is going to be problems ahead if easy funds did not come misused you people witnessed a waiter being tipped how much in a restaurant that the broccoli was bad was it um, really fair okay. then you can tip as much as you want because it's your money and you tipping tipping yeah. there's no limitation for tipping my dear 
Sasa hii unaweza yes. patana na mtu na ukamsaidia. There is no limitation to tipping. I agree. You can bless agree, someone Kiki. as much as you want. I agree Kiki you are saying the truth. But you yes. all know, you know and I know it was not Nyako's money. Tukwe tukwe tu tuache kuficha. We know yeah, it was not okay, her money. I also I also agree with you it was not Nyako's money but who, who, those people who give Nyako money never complain that Nyako we've given this woman this amount of money. I am talking because I have once given her money. We've given this woman this amount of money and she's giving out to a waiter 10,000. Okay let me ask you uh, because you guys know some of you know Nyako's address would I you, don't know her address as a no person, I don't know a minute I don't know whoever sent that thing Coco knows Nyako's address yes right? she does because she took her to court oh. yeah she does would you advise uh, Nyako ahame kutoka mali anaka because mimi from what I've heard you uh, the story everything It's like mm. Nyako is not safe. So, would you as an individual advise Nyako ahame kutoka pale anaishi? Um I think you you'd be right on that based on what I've come out to realize who Koko is. Eh? Koko ni yule mwenye anasema anauma kivivia. Unaona? Anakuja kwangu, anaribu jina ya JB, ana pesh akirudi kwa JB na Pesh anaribu jina yangu. Unaona? Huyu ni mtu mwenye anaweza hata hata sema story cause kuna vitu kina JB walikuwa nasema mpaka nilikuwa nashanga cause yeye ndio nilikuwa nimegusia vitu kama hizo na yeye. Unaona? So kina JB walipewa chai yangu na nani na koko. Na alikuwa nawapea chai yangu kwa kwa lipi kwa sababu in all this from the beginning to the end ya jana usiku we were in talking terms mpaka mimi pia nilikuwa nauliza koko what's happening yani ni kama nilishtuka na nimeonyesha hizo chats zote hapa but she kept on telling me they are not listening na waongelesha they are not listening you know but you know how can they listen after you've given them the poison And you know JB is trigger ready all the time. She has a lot of adrenaline. She has the energy. You trigger her kidogo like this, it goes berserk. Kama mimi mwenyewe kuongea na yeye hizi vitu private kwa simu, ndio nilifika mali nikachoka nikasema pana for my peace to reign. Wacha tu ni block nitakuwa napea nani information na pitishia koko chenye loya amesema ama chenye DCI amesema koko ampati amwambie. Cuz nilichoka ni mtu amwezi have amwezi have dialogue venye tuna have dialogue hapa ukianza huyu koko ni let me ask you ko pickable should yeah. nyako be worried hata akitembea Kenya because there was huyu police wa buruburu was updating on every move and ah, ukiangalia when, it's not good it's not okay should when she I was be worried about her safety When I was listening through about the nani the policy wa buruburu on Mwakio's life mm -hmm. I got scared for sure I got scared and I was I was I was uh, listening in to every opinion that was coming in somebody some people were saying ni mtu wako na yeye some people were saying maybe wamemwaya tap something like that Mhm mm Onona so yeah. Honestly I think she really needs to take good care of herself because if that if a person can give such vital information it means hiyo mtu ako karibu na ye. Na mtu kama huyu akiwa karibu na yeye na vitu zenye anasema ai intention yake bado ai add up. So to take precaution akwe too careful. Hiyo ndo chenye naweza mwambia akwe tu careful because you don't know who say who that person. yeah okay, okay guys let's not overlook one major major important point misuse of public funds is a crime thank you this is thank the you, biggest Angelina. biggest issue in all this and you, we Angelina. should actually appreciate that we have citizens like daughter who can do things that we cannot do hold people who misuse public funds accountable mm.
Let us not overlook this major point. And this is why our country is becoming poor because we are not really becoming, we are not holding people accountable. She was holding public funds, and you have all seen in the statements. Anatuma pesa kwa ndugu zake, kwa watu wake, kwa kina nani, ana misuse public funds. Tusisahau. So let's appreciate people like daughter. For me personally, I appreciate someone like her who is able to do things that I cannot do and bring them to light. We need to also look at this major point. This is what I wanted to say. All other things, Zimekwa exaggerated, they should not have happened, like following up on her traveling, I don't know what, kumtumia vitu. But here there is a major, major, big, big offense of misuse of public funds. Let's focus on that. Asanteni, that's what I wanted to say. Wild talker again. Yeah. Also, guys, you know, we 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 are saying, you know, she was giving out those big tips and it's public funds and like are we really sure about that? Kwa sababu ata ni meona po comment you guys or we are ignoring the gifts she gets and the monthly pay from her content. So it's a possibility, it could be her own money that she's giving out. Ama, me, that's if you, not 100 If you had share. followed the point by point, the mm -hmm. donations that were given, because that those are donations that were right. given, they add up to those amounts. Mm. It has nothing to do with her money. It's the, all the, the, the amounts that were being added up, they mm -hmm. were all donations from individuals. And she is doing this, she still does it. And she was even doing it last week, which means it will not stop. So we should not overlook this. Please, Kenyans, my fellow Kenyans, let us learn to really hold